At just $99, the Rode VideoMic 2 is by far the most affordable, versatile microphone I have ever used. You could use it on top of a camera, you could boom it above your subject, you could connect it to the wireless Go system and use it wirelessly, or you could connect it digitally to a computer and you could use it for video calls or voiceover. You can also connect it to a smartphone and record audio that way as well. Is it right for you? Let's take a deeper look. Let's first compare this to its big brother, the Rode VideoMic NTG. The NTG looks very similar to this, although it's a little bit larger. It has an internal battery and it also has physical buttons and a gain knob on the back. Now, the main benefit of having that internal battery is that it gives you the ability to change the way the microphone works and export sound via the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the side. Now, I wish I had my video mic NTG so that I could do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I have listened to many comparisons online already, and although the NTG sounds a little bit better, a little bit fuller, a little bit richer, the sound quality out of both of these microphones is very similar, and I think with a little bit of tweaking in post, you could probably make them sound identical. Now, the reason why the Video Go Mic 2 is only $99 compared to that $250 is because this guy does not have an internal battery. It also doesn't have any of the physical buttons or knobs on the microphone itself. If you wanna use this with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack plugged into a camera, you basically plug it in and it works. The only option that you're going to have is the gain setting on your camera. For some filmmakers, they're not going to like that. They're going to wanna to spend the extra money to get the NTG and those extra options, whereas others might actually appreciate the fact that there's no way to mess this microphone up. You don't have to worry about setting the wrong setting. You don't have to worry about dead batteries. You just plug it in and it's going to work every single time. Now, there are tons of great microphones out there that cost less than $100, but what makes this microphone special is that not only does it have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to plug directly into cameras, it also has a USB-C jack on the other side, which allows you to plug it in to digital products like laptops or smartphones. And when you do, you get almost all of the same options that you do with the much more expensive VideoMic NTG. So now that you know everything the microphone can do, how does it actually sound? As you can see, I'm wearing a ton of different microphones here. I'm also recovering from both COVID and the flu, so I don't sound great. Bear with me here. Let's listen to each one of these microphones. So this is an audio test to see what these microphones sound like. One, two, three. So this is an audio test to see what these microphones sound like. One, two, three. So this is an audio test to see what these microphones sound like. One, two, three. So that test gives you an idea of what this microphone sounds like from a pretty realistic booming distance. Obviously, I would probably have this up here like this. So how does the microphone sound when you get really close to your mouth? As you can tell, we've got really nice voiceover quality sound. Now to my ears, this mic sounds much better than your average lav mic, but keep in mind that in many cases, mic placement might be more important than the microphone itself. All right, this is what the audio sounds like on my internal microphone and the Sony a7S III. And this is what the Rode VideoMic Go 2 sounds like. I am now recording with my iPhone. This is what the internal microphone sounds like. All right, I am now recording with the Rode microphone. Does it sound any better? All right, I am now using the internal microphone on my iPhone. All right, I am now recording on my cell phone using the Rode Video Mic Go 2. How do I sound? Now, the other really cool thing about these microphones is that you can hook up four of them to a single computer and using Rode's free software, you can record a podcast style show with just four $99 microphones. Now, as you saw, you can plug this into your smartphone as well, but if you wanna connect two of these to a smartphone, you can get the AI Micro, and this is super interesting. You can use this to connect two of these to a smartphone or two of these to a computer, or you could connect lav mics to this instead, which is super cool. So is this the best microphone for $100 currently on the market? When it comes to sound quality alone, probably not. I'm sure there's much larger microphones that have better sound quality. But when it comes to features, I think it is. This is like four or five microphones built into one. And if you're looking for a microphone that can go on your camera or one for voiceover work or one that could be used with video calls or one that could be used with your smartphone, I'm not sure that there's really anything else on the market that comes close to this. It's definitely worth checking out.